Hello, everyone. My name is Nan Mochinani, and I'm the Acting Director and Chief Technology Officer of the Department of Defense's Joint AI Center, or the JIG. On behalf of our team, welcome to the DOD's AI Symposium. The Department of Defense is in the midst of a historic technological transformation from a hardware-centric organization to one that is digitally focused and software-centric. These technological innovations will pave the way for whole-scale changes in how we sustain and execute operations on the front line and manage business practices at home. This is why our Secretary of Defense, Mark Esper, has made it a strategic imperative for the U.S. military to adopt artificial intelligence at speed and at scale. We have now had some time to warm up to this new reality and believe we are now ready to move from the warm-up phase to actually start making it real. And this is why the theme of this symposium is appropriately titled Making AI Real. So what does this mean for me and you? Well, it should be no surprise that the answer to that question is simple. It turns out that the future of AI in the Department of Defense rests in your hands. So let's examine this monumental AI challenge from a historical perspective. For this, I want to take you back to World War II. Like the strategic challenges that we face today, the path to achieving victory in World War II rested in the hands of citizens who understood that individual contributions at scale could have enormous impact. To sustain their households and to contribute to the larger war effort, Americans around the country began planting victory gardens in their backyards, and at such scale that it had a material effect on the war mobilization and our nation's eventual victory over our adversaries. This was a triumph of the individual over central planning, a winning pattern that we have seen over and over again. So making AI real is a mobilization in its own right, as no single organization can simply mandate any new technology into production. So you can help us by mobilizing and transforming the DOD by planting your own AI Victory Garden. The first step in doing this involves thinking critically about the work that you do. Can you do it more efficiently? Can you rethink it? Could it benefit from automation, analytics, or predictive capabilities? Is the data rich? If so, it might be a perfect candidate to build your own AI Victory Garden around. You can plant these technological seeds by learning about AI, defining mission areas that AI can help solve, developing a business strategy to implement AI capabilities, organizing and preserving data, starting an AI project, and most importantly, sharing your lessons with others across the DoD. The good news is that you'll have the support from the Jake and the rest of the community that we're building across the government, industry, and academia. From its inception, the Jake was established to operate as an AI center of excellence, to provide resources, tools, and expertise to everyone across the DoD. Our charter is broad and challenging, ranging from Pathfinder technology projects, coordinating with industry and academia, training and education, AI governance and policy, testing and evaluation, international engagements, AI ethics implementation, to building a common foundation for AI development called the Joint Common Foundation, or the JCF. This is a massive effort and is one that the Jake embraces because we understand that all of these initiatives will help create conditions for us to achieve victory with AI. But we cannot do this alone. As I mentioned earlier, no single organization can tackle the challenges of feeling AI on their own. It will take the entire community. So we're incredibly thankful for the efforts of our partners at r and &E and DARPA, who are shaping the front end of the AI development cycle so that fielding organizations like the Jake can go out and make AI real. We have other great partners working on these hard problems as well, including the services and our frontline combatant commands. Moreover, we are benefiting from the wealth of experience and strategic vision provided by advisory groups, such as the Defense Innovation Board and the National Security Commission on AI. Our community is clearly rounded out by our industry and academic partners who are bringing the core AI technical and product talent to help us build products at scale. And most importantly, we have you who are at the core of our community. Over these two days, we have one of the most exciting lineups of speakers and presentations that we could put together for you. Today, 
you'll hear from Secretary of Defense Mark Esper, the Vice Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff General John Hyten, and a host of other prominent thought leaders from across the DoD AI ecosystem. Later today, I'll join the programming once more to host Mr. Michael Krastios, the Chief Technology Officer of the United States and now Acting Undersecretary of Defense for Research and Engineering. And of course, Mr. Dave Spurk, the DOD's Chief Data Officer. Tomorrow, you'll hear from my boss, Mr. Dana Deasy, who as the DOD's Chief Information Officer is helping drive our broader digital transformation efforts, and Dr. Will Rober, the Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for Acquisition, Technology, and Logistics, followed by a full day of interactive breakout sessions. The focus of these breakout sessions is not high-level discussions of strategy. They're designed to be practical and focused on helping you get going with your own AI projects. These are really exciting times for the DOD as we embark on a historical journey to solve one of the most difficult national security problems of our generation. We need you to plant your seeds of innovation and create your own AI victory gardens. Let's come together and harness the American spirit of innovation and mobilize to win in AI. Together, we can make it real. Thank you.